Hi guys, Thursday Theory again, reading from Thinking Grow Rich. Now the reason we're reading this book is because I want you to know how powerful your mind is when you have direction and you know where you're going in your life. So as you remember we were talking about Edwin Barnes, so let's catch up and see what actually happened when he turned up at Thomas Edison's doorstep, the guy who invented the light bulb and he decided that he was going to be the number one business partner with him. I want this to really inspire you and I really want to show you that you really can do whatever you want. So. If you haven't caught up, just to remind you that this is a sort of back in the day, let's just say. Um, Edwin didn't know um, anyone who knew uh, Edison and he didn't know how he was going to afford the train fare. He went by what's called blind baggage in the end, which means basically he um, jumped on a cargo train instead of going as a passenger because he couldn't afford it. So a lot of you guys will look at your circumstances and say, well... I can't do X or there's no point me even looking at my dream. Remember, a lot of people are actually terrified to think about what they want out of life um, because I'll feel sad and I'll feel disappointed and I can't ever reach it. And I really want to wake you up to the fact that, you know, your mind is very powerful, as I say. Um, so let's find out what happened to Barnes and this might surprise you. So. I'm going to just read uh, the last chapter that I read last Thursday again. So, the desire was not new when he approached Edison. It had been Barnes' dominating desire for a long time. In the beginning, when the desire first appeared in his mind, it may have been and probably was only a wish. But it was no mere wish when he appeared before Edison with it. A few years later, Edwin C. Barnes stood again before Edison in the same office where he first met the inventor. This time his desire had been translated into a reality. He was in business with Edison. The dominating dream of his life had become a reality. People who knew Barnes envied him because of his break life had yielded him. They saw him in the days of triumph without taking the trouble to investigate the cause of his success. Barnes succeeded because he chose a definite goal, placed all his energy, all his willpower, all his effort, everything back of that goal. He did not become the partner of Edison the day he arrived. He was content to start in the most menial work as long as it provided an opportunity to take every to take even one step before sorry towards his cherished goal. This is very very powerful okay and I recommend you get this book as I put at the moment you don't need to and we will of course be covering this in more depth if you are lucky enough to join our community. And if you want to know more about that, please do speak to me. It's a great and friendly place to meet people. And of course, we go through a lot of this mindset book. But this is just one of many guys that I have for you. One of many, many, many. And this is an incredible, incredible book. Definite goal. Do you have one? Because if not, thankfully, you're in the right place and I can help. Um, but I can't do it without you reaching out to me. Now, this is very, very serious. Um, this is your life we're talking about here. This is probably the most important thing on the planet. And all I want to say is congratulations for being in this group. But there is a next step that you need to take. And as you know, I'm always here. I'm happy to have a, a lovely chat with you over a virtual coffee. Um, it would be my absolute treat to see if I can help you in any way. And... The reason I personally do this um, as a job is uh, for some of you who know. So um, I have had some experiences with death in my life. Um, I, you know, had as well as with severe depression and anxiety. I'll tell you more about that if you uh, join the course. Um, I don't want to kind of give too much away, too many spoilers. Um, and I also had a parent die a couple of years back who wasn't in a job they found fulfilling and weren't really living the life, didn't have the relationships that they really wanted. And that's affected really a lot of our family. And I really feel that a lot of people in life, we kind of go with what's content uh, for us. You might have seen, uh, this is really old film, but it's called Cat and Hot Tin Roof. It's nothing to do with cats or hot tin roofs. It's to do with um, basically being happy in life. And there's a word that's used which is called mendacity and what that means is basically uh, mediocreness, sort of being okay in life. And so many of us, especially in the UK, settle for what is mediocre. And I don't want that for you. I want a life where you feel fulfilled, you feel happy, you feel like you're doing something on the planet that's worthwhile. Your, your life means something. 
um, because when you go to the grave it is too late and I say that bluntly not to scare you but I really want you to wake up and to know that you've got more than what's within you you know I didn't used to believe that I could I could start a business helping people to discover their life purpose until I got to the point where I was like do you know what enough is enough this is for me and I had to reach out okay so I want you to ask that question do you have do you know your life purpose and if not then you're in the right place as I say but you have to reach out I can't read minds unfortunately and um, so the onus is on you uh, now to be a grown up and to but as boring as that is I know um to reach out and say yeah do you know what maybe I do need some help and not to feel guilty about that um, and that's something that we're going to cover in tomorrow lessons this this feeling of shame and guilt and the inferiority really that we should know um but we'll touch on that tomorrow I just want to leave you with that one question today and um yeah, I can't wait to, to connect with some of you who might be hearing this. Can't wait to hear your thoughts below. Um, I can't wait to just help as many people live a rich, vibrant and fulfilling life as possible. That's why I do what I do and that's all from me today. You take care.